you, you probably heard what he said after the game Sunday and he dropped an F bomb. Can you sense the frustration he has as an owner? You know, Steve is a very passionate guy. He, he uh, loves the Dolphins, gives us great resources to be successful, uh, gives us great support. So, you know, he was uh, disappointed on the season like we were. And, again, where our energy now is try to evaluate, you know, what happened, learn from it, and uh, make the proper uh, proper and necessary adjustments. If, if Ryan had been healthy this year, how do you think the season would have played out? I'm pretty sure you already know my answer to this. I mean, hypothetical, it didn't happen. I mean, it is what it is. We just know we get him back next year. You know, we'll have a full slate with uh, the spring training camp, preseason. You know, there's there was nothing we could do once he got injured, and you know we made the adjustments we had to make, try to put together the season we were hoping to have. In, in, in light of how the season went, uh, was signing Jake Cutler the right decision? I think so. I mean, he was somebody that had been in this, this system before. Thought that we could get our guys kind of moving in the same direction very quickly. You know, it didn't happen as fast as I was hoping. And there was a lot of good that, you know, he personally did. There was probably some games where we wish we could have done some different things. You know, it's, that's, it's a, always a, you know, you look back at it. You know, I mean, it's not like there was a ton of options to find a starting quarterback. And, you know, we felt like Matt was a good option for us. But, you know, we felt like having two guys that we knew that could play in a regular season game was our best chance. Philosophically, is it off the table to draft a quarterback in the first round or is it on the table? You know, you've been around me for a couple of years now. We've said we'll always take the best player on our board. And I've talked from day one, you know, and I, we talked about, you know, the J.J. Watt thing. If, you know, D.N., we had Wake and whatever, but if J.J. Watt's on the draft board, we're picking, we're not going to pass J.J. Watt because we're, we're defensive and we feel good about. So all positions, I mean, again, we're evaluating everything. So every, every position doesn't matter. Quarterback, tackle, defensive tackle, uh, everything's wide open for us. Again, everyone, we're 6-10. and 10. You know, we got to get better. It's not, it's not acceptable. We're all ultra competitive up here. I mean, you guys know Adam. You know, he'd kill his own dog if he had to to go to the Super Bowl, you know. So uh, I probably shouldn't have used that analogy. But well, that's, that's bad. <laughs> but uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't have a dog, so. <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, we'll do whatever we feel is best for us. But we're happy with our young core. Adam, do you have a dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs>